Hey what's up guys Ultimate Sonic here and today I'll bring you a brand new tutorial on how to download PCSX2 a PlayStation 2 emulator and yeah let's get started first of all you will need Minra and a virus pack I'll put those two links in the description so yeah let's get started first of all you need to go on to Google or any internet browser and go to this website called pcsx2.net I'll put the link in the description once you're there click on go to the go to the tab that says download get to pcx2 here just hover, hover, hover your mouse over it and uh, click on the one that says windows which says releases windows click on that and as you can see you, set, you get these three files what you need to do is download the standalone uh, installer version all you need to do is click this this download button and you can see it will be downloading so once that's what the once that is done I'll show you how to install it now come on you're taking longer than usual okay now it's downloaded what you need to do is click on it and you get and You'll get you'll get an administrator uh, notification. All you need to do is click yes, and just click next. Just check everything and click next. Uh, you can select a a destination folder. I usually go on to program files uh, x86 because that's where I usually put my folders in. What you need to do is press install. Now it's going to install the emulator. And I'm going to show you how to set up your controls as well. Okay, what, now it's done. You can close it. Now go to the folder where you have, or where you have saved or not saved, where you where you just where your fo where the email is destinations at. So mine's is at this um, program files 86. So wait, let me find it. As you can see, it's right here. Double click it. And click on the program. Okay, once you open it, you'll get this um, configuration. All you need to do is just leave it, leave this as it is, and click next. And it's getting all the plugins and everything. Okay, once you once it's done, what you need to do is if you have a slow computer or if you haven't got a good computer I recommend click on this one or this one okay this is just the GS the graphics of the game so what you need to do is cl click on configure click on the adapter that says that and click on the one that says actually wait click on the one that says render and change it to direct uh, direct 3d11 if you don't have the latest version then I don't know then you have to try to up update the game to uh, what's it called? Just update the grab the uh, I can't remember what I can't I don't know how to say it but you just need to update it so yeah so what you need to do is click on 3d11 hardware don't click on software on hardware okay you can change your graphics card but don't change it to anything else keep it as it is as for me I have a video but I don't know why it's not popping up on this as adapter keep keep this on auto uh, keep this on uh, just leave this as it is okay this is changed now for me it's changed because I don't know what happened before so what you need to do is keep this on native unless the computer has a really good graphics card so they can upscale this is like the upscale the game like the PS up to like a PS3 game yeah like upscales the re resolution of the game I keep it on native because I don't want my game to slow down okay and uh, keep everything as it is okay now it's time to configure your controls what you need to do is click on 
where's this pad click on configure and then you click on is the one that says pad and here will be all your control where you can map all your controls for example if you want to be square click on square and click on any key that you want so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be mapping my controls so I'll be right back okay I mapped all my keys now as you can see you can copy mine if you want so I'm gonna leave it here for a second okay I'm gonna click apply so now your controls have been mapped so you, then you press OK okay now what you need to do is change now go to the CD where's the CDVD click on that and change it to uh, actually no leave it leave that as it is okay now everything is all done what you need to do is click next uh, bios we can do that later uh, actually actually I'm gonna show you now because you need it so what you need to do is go to Google and type in PC wait PCSX2 bios yep you click on the first link the, the link will be in this in the description and click download and click on the mirror folder don't worry this is free so you're not gonna have any surveys in that okay what you need to do is click on download and let it download so I'm gonna let it download uh, what you need to do after nothing nothing after after so yeah oh yeah and you need games as well I'm so, I can't show you how to get the games but all you need to do is just go to Google and just type in anything it's type in PS2 ISO and click on any link and you can just download any game that you like so yeah okay now is this now this is downloaded so open it with the Rinra so I've got this folder what you need to do is extract it and put it into into this folder where it says P, into, do you know the main folder that you installed yes yeah, uh, just drag and drop it into it Wait. drag and drop okay now it's been it I was extracting all the bios now it's done let's click continue okay now you can close that minimize your chrome or whatever right, what you need to do is uncheck this um, default setting uncheck it click on browse and find actually wait click, click cancel click click on the one this is bios right click cut it and go to your documents as you can see you have a P another folder called PCXX2 double click on it and, um, and just paste it Control V to paste and it's going to replace the one that says bios okay you can just refresh now refresh the list and all your bios will be there so you can click anything you want so I recommend to get the click on the latest one that says version uh, USA version 2.20 this is two, uh, the one that says 2006 click on that one and click finish okay now it's all done well, now that's all done yeah you need you need a memory card so I'm going to show you how to get that so what you need to do is go to Google and type in PC SX, no, PCSX2 memory card so you click on that and uh, actually I can't find the ones that I use I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the links in the description the one I found so yeah so yeah you don't really need a memory card because you've got save states yeah you can uh, click on miss click on the MISC and click show and click on show console because you don't really need that okay so now you can close that and now it's time to configure your emulation settings so what you need to do is just copy what I have if you if you don't 
just leave everything that it uh, as it is like leave this as it is do not change any of that or you mess up these sayings keep this as it is this you can leave this as it is as well right, this is what you can do whatever you want it won't affect the game as you're going to keep this standard because I don't want to change it speed hacks is to speed up your game like if you bring this to number two then you can bring this to two, uh, one or two uh, or three if you have a slow copy I recommend using this I'll keep I keep mine on this because um, my my copy is not that great so yeah so game fix you can enable it so if you have get any game that has glitches in that you can uh, enable this and uh, click on the what anything any the one that's, that has bad graphics like that Final Fantasy 10 example has bad graphics just click on that and it'll fix the graphics so yeah I'll be done click apply and okay and now is to get now to run the ISO so wait I'm gonna pause the game uh, pause the tutorial and I'll show you I'm gonna do some stuff so I have all my games so I'll show you how to run the games properly so yeah I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna see you in a few minutes or seconds okay guys I'm back that took freaking forever with that I need to do so I've copied all my ISOs that I backed up onto my back to the folder that I have in my program files so what you need to do is click on I click on C DVD click on IIS selector click on browse and find all find your ISOs where you save as for me I saved it in the IP PCSX uh, folder right here so I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix I open that okay now it's been selected oh yeah so I put the I, I uh, once I was copying all my stuff uh, back to my folder I have put the memory cards on my Google Drive so you can get so you guys can download it so once you've downloaded it put it in your documents in the PCX2 folder as you can see or glow blue yeah click on config click on memory cards no not that click on config memory cards and you should see two memory cards what you need to do is just click any of them or if you can't if uh, the PCX2 can't find it what you need to do is click browse and find where you saved it so as you can see mine is there so click on it just click OK or be now you, now you can use it so once uh, so once your iOS has been selected click on go to system and click on boot CG, C DVD fast or full of it fast so it goes straight to the game as you can see my game is running full speed well it's gonna slow down soon so yeah and by the way this game is in Japanese so I English uh, patched it I'll if you want me to show you how to English patch this game I'll do it just leave let's uh, just leave some likes I'll if I can get like around I don't know 100 likes I'll do it so as you can see everything's fine click load no my stuff is gone and oh, never mind I'll fix it later I'll see I'll show you it works so let me get straight to the game I'll put I'll pause the I'll pause the video and get straight to the game okay guys as you can see the game is working it's not running at full speed because my game doesn't my I haven't got the greatest specs so yeah it's still playable for me so yeah I'm not gonna show too much of the game this is just this is just a tutorial bit of the game so yeah just gonna do that you whatever okay now now you guys know the game is working thank you guys so, uh, for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see me how to English patch Kinwatts to final mix please leave a like 
And yeah, that's it. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!